In the last unit, my colleague Gregory Kless showed you how astrology was received in the Latin West during the Middle Ages. His presentation focused on the city of Toledo in Spain, where Arabic texts were translated into Latin. Today, I'll show you how those astrological beliefs were incorporated into Roman literature and why Western poets judged astrology worthy of interest. The answer is because it, astrology always deals with love. And what I mean by love is a very particular kind of love. You don't believe me? Well, let's have a look at some major texts written in Provence, France and Italy. The first text I want to talk about is a treaty written in Occitan or Provencal language in the south of France by a Franciscan friar who was also a troubadour and a lawyer. His name was Maître Hermengo. He wrote a long poem of about 35,000 lines called Breviari d'Amor, Breviary of Love. The poem consists of two parts. The first one is a kind of encyclopedia of nature, including the earth and the sky, which the author regards as an emanation of God's love. This explains the title of the poem. His principal source is the De Proprietatibus Rerum, the Encyclopedia by Bartholomew of England, which Gregory Kless presented in the previous unit. The second part is a manual of courtly love. Its author purpose is to show that a perfect harmony exists between love for God and courtly love. In the first part, Maître Hermengo introduces astrology and raises the question of how the stars and the planets exerted an influence upon humans. The answer is through the movement. In fact, the author explains that the stars are fixed in the firmament, whereas the planets are always in movement. Let's remember that the very word planet suggests this movement. It comes indeed from the Greek planastai, to wander. But the firmament, the abode of the fixed stars, also revolves, and it is this revolution which communicates its motion to fix the whole universe. But you'll ask, what is the origin of this movement? Of course, the origin is God, with his armies of angels turning handles. Remember what my colleagues André Venin and Godefroy de Calatay told you about the functions of angels in the Jewish and Islamic tradition. Here we are again with one of these functions. Just, just observe here how great an effort they make to turn the handles. The author also raises the question of the distance. How far is the sky? He found the answer in an important treatise written by the Arab astronomer Al-Fargani, translated in Latin, Compendium of the Science of the Stars. And in this miniature, we found that the author mentions the distance. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, the distances are written both in Arabic and in Roman numerals. This mixed notation is remarkable and very unusual. It allows us to appreciate the very moment of translation between the East and the West. The breviary also describes all the zodiac signs and the seven planets of the ancient Ptolemaic system. The planets exert the influence in combination with the zodiac signs according to a multitude of specific criteria. Each planet is described in detail. Let's have a look at the first one, namely Saturn. Maître Mingo observes that in iconography, Saturn, the planet, is always represented as an old man holding a sickle. Do you know why? The author makes a several explanations here. Saturn is old because the period of revolution of the planet is huge so that the planet is supposed to move 
like an old man, very slowly. He holds a sickle because when he moves forward from the east to the west, he cannot harm anyone. But when he moves backward, the retrograde motion from the west to the east, because it becomes very dangerous and may even cause stormy weather on earth. Movement is always at the center of explanation. Hermengo also recalls that according to Greek mythology, Saturn, the god, castrated his own father Uranus and was himself later castrated by Jupiter, his son. Astrology meets mythology. It's mind-blowing, isn't it? But what happens when astrology meets religion? You'll get the answer in the next video.